Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about a technique that I use to um, I use occasionally to print models uh, supportless. <clears throat> and we used to do this a lot in Mesh Mixer, uh, and I still do at times. Um, but there's also uh, two ways to do it in the software, um, and I'll, I'm going to go over one of the ways. And this is really just use the cut tool. Uh, typically, when we use the cut tool, we select the surface. We select cut, or you just press and hold the shift button, and it activates the cut tool. You can see it turn red down there. Well, normally when we do the cut tool, we draw the area, and then it kind of closes off, and then it cuts that area. So um, we see that occur. No big deal. But in this case, I, I want you to notice that if I draw the line, it connects the dot with a solid line, a straight line across. So that's what we're actually going to need. We're going to harness that power to make a plane cut. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to uh, create, a, you know, visualize a straight line where I want this guide to be or this plane cut to be created. Um, so I'm kind of trying to level from this custom to this to this. Now you can do it however you want, and the nice thing is you can always undo anything that we do in this process. But I do, I would like to create a little bit of a plane cut in this area. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to aim visually. Now you could actually literally pull up a sheet of paper to your uh, computer um, and figure out how to do this, but for now I'm just going to kind of freehand. Now I am not going to try and make a straight line because that's never going to happen. But instead I can use the straight line that is created to seal it off. So I right click to undo that. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to wrap over the guide and I'm going to use the straight line to connect the dots and let go. Now this doesn't always work, I'll be honest. Sometimes it leaves an open mesh and if that happens then you're probably going to be uh, need to go ahead and export the guide and create your plane cut in Mesh Mixer which is fine. Um, it works but ultimately the fewer softwares we can use in the process the better. So we're going to go ahead and I usually like to try it here. If it works great I'm done. If not I'll open up a Mesh Mixer and refine the process there. Okay, so here's our guide. Let's take a look. And it is closed off. If it's not, it'll be very obvious. It'll be hollow in there. So now I can export the guide. Um, and I've actually already done so with a, basically an identical workup. If we want to see how this would fit, we can click right here. And we can look underneath. And there it is. Okay, so we are all set, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my Rayware software. Which I and so this is how the guide looks like when I've exported it. Okay, so if I zoom in here, you can see that this is all flat plane cut. If I click on this, I click Select Base, and you notice that this little arrow is going to be perpendicular to whatever point I have it resting on. Okay, you notice it stays consistently flat here. If you ever have a plane that does not stay flat, that means there was a flaw in the process. It's rare, but if it happens, you'll see this turned in and out. I click there, click off of it, click it again, and now I can move it, and there it is. It's ready to print. You can tell because you look underneath, you can see how it's uh, sort of intersecting the base. And this creates a, oh, actually, sorry, let's turn the surgical guide material on. There we go. That's what I was meaning to see, a 23-minute print. So this... Uh, it helps same-day surgery to be a possibility in our office. Now, it, it is important to be aware of with the overcure that occurs in the first one millimeter from here up or so uh, is going to overcure, and it has the potential of making it too tight uh, so that it doesn't see right. Now, I honestly haven't found that to be the problem when printing this way uh, because we print with an offset, the offset being about two-tenths of a millimeter. Um, or yes, uh, so that usually accounts for it. I don't run into issues. But if you're worried about that, you can instead of doing this method, you can open up Mesh Mixer, do the plane cut, and extrude the areas. Um, and I will show that in a different video. All right. Hope this helps. Okay, so uh, our print is done. Uh, excuse our little bit crampness. We are moving things around in the lab, but here is our guide. To short and minimal. Okay. And here is our surgical. It's over there. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Keep that right. We have different, uh, you can see we have 
DSG Dental Surgical Guide, gray uh, occlusal uh, guard, and then another gray actually, because there's a lot more volume with the gray. So, it's really thin, so we've got to be super careful, but that also ensures the fastest print. Come on over here. I just went and got under there. there. Now it's free. Drop it in there. We are good to go. I'm going to have Angie get this uh, shaking for me. And then when we're all done shaking and uh, cured, and as you can see, it's a, if I run this instrument across here, there's nothing adhered. Everything came off just fine. I don't even need to clean it off. It's actually ready to go per another guide if I need to.